Hello and welcome to Cup of Culture. My name is Serena and in this episode of Tea Around the World we are going to talk about bubble tea. Bubble tea is a crucial part of the Taiwanese culture and it has fascinated the world in recent years. And generally, um, tea is usually the first thing to be served in a Taiwanese restaurant. And this is mainly due because after oolong tea was introduced in the 19th century, um, more and more tea was cultivated in the northern regions of Taiwan. So today, Taiwan is one of the most important producers of tea worldwide. But there is this one tea which Taiwan is famous for, and that is bubble tea, also known as pearl milk tea or uh, boba or just milk tea. It originated in Taichung in the early 1980s um, because the younger generations of Taiwan back then perceived the um, tea drinking culture as rather dusty. So inspired by Japan's cold brew, a tea house owner developed this cold tea and later put some bobas inside. So uh, this is basically how um, bubble tea was invented. Bubble tea mainly consists of tea, milk and those chewy tapioca pearls and generally this drink is more about fun and to socialize and to hang out with your friends and Taiwanese people see bubble tea as an essential part of their daily life which is why you can find bubble tea at every corner in Taiwan. Um, but this drink is also very popular in North America and I remember when I went to California that there were so many bubble tea shops which was crazy. So let's get on with the actual preparation of bubble tea and there are so many different variations of this beverage and even the boba, bobas can be made from anything from tapioca to fruit jelly. So this is what I love about this drink, it's highly customizable and it's your decision of what goes into your tea. So you decide the amount of sugar, you decide which kind of balls you want and you decide your tea and even your additional, um, and your, your additional liquids. So the two main variations of bubble tea are milk tea or fruit juice tea. And the most famous bubble tea are um, black pearl milk tea and green pearl milk tea. And usually you would use creamer to put into your tea, but nowadays people tend to be healthier, which is why it's usually served with milk. So a classic bubble tea recipe can be broken down into four parts. So your pearls, your tea, your additional liquids, and your ice cubes. And usually the first step would be to prepare your tapioca pearls. But today I'm going to be using pre-made fruit jelly pearls uh, because, you're, because I really love the passion fruit version of them. And the second step would be to prepare your liquids. And today I'll be making two variations of bubble tea, one with black tea and the other one with green tea. For the black tea version, I'll use one cup of black tea and half a cup of milk. And for the green tea version, I'll use one cup of green tea and half a cup of orange juice. So, and then the third step would be to mix everything together in your cocktail shaker. So get your cocktail shaker, put, put your black tea into it, like this. Add your milk. And your ice cubes. Oh my god. And now shake it for about 20 times. Now take your pearls. And I'll use, I think, about three tablespoons. You know what? I'll use I'll use four ta tablespoons, and now I'll fill it up with my um, with my milk tea mixture. And there you have it, your homemade bubble tea mixture. And one essential part of bubble tea is obviously the big straw. And you can even see uh, those bubbles. And I must say, usually you would have the milk tea with those uh, black tapioca pearls. Um, but I also think that um, this looks quite beautiful too.
Check it, 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 check it. <laughs> now we're trying not to make a mess. I'm like, ah, why? <laughs> why? So again, I'll use about four tablespoons of fruit jelly pearls. And now our two versions of bubble tea are ready to be served. Oh, this is so good. You can taste all the flavors like the green tea and the orange juice. This is so fresh. Mm. And now the milky version. What I do really like is that for this one, you can see the bubbles, the bobas and um, I mean, you can also see them here, but because my own tea and my bubbles do have the same color, it's quite hard to tell where they are. So what I really love about those bobas is that once they come into your mouth, they will pop <laughs> and um, it's like so much fun to drink it because you never know when the next boba will go through your straw um, and it is actually so much fun. I think this is the perfect drink to socialize and to meet with friends and to enjoy a good cup of bubble tea. So that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Tea Around the World. And I actually think when it comes to bubble tea, it's either love it or hate it. So let me know in the comments uh, which, which part you belong to. If you either love it or hate it, or if you've never even tried it, uh, then I think this is your opportunity to give it a try and see what you think about this very particular kind of tea. Um, so let's have a zip together and until next time, bye.